Hey guys, my birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to be 35. I'm slightly happy and slightly terrified at being 35. But guys, I got quite a bit of things from Amoeba, thrift stores, and Amazon. So I figured I would show you them in this video. Look at this, guys. Isn't this shirt really cool? It has peacocks. I'm so in love with it. So we're going to call this a treat yourself haul slash birthday haul. So um, let's get started. The first record I got was the Smithereens, especially from you, a nice 80s album. I got this from Omeva Records. Next I got Green Day Dookie, and I got this a couple weeks ago from Omeva Records. This is a great 1994 classic, and it has... Fasty Case, Long View, Welcome to Paradise is my favorite, one of my favorites, um, but my absolute favorite is When I Come Around, She and Sassafras Root is also really good, and Long View is good, just pretty much this whole album is good from start to finish. If you're going to get into Green Day, I highly suggest you check this album out first. Next, I got this album from Goodwill. And this is the best of Emerson and Lake, Emerson Lake and Palmer. I like this album cover. I don't listen to them too much, but I just wanted a best of. And this is a, you know, good one to have in a collection. Then I got the best of Jet Row Tall. I have a couple Jet Row Tall albums in my collection. My favorite being Aqua Lung. But this was really cool to also acquire from Goodwill. Next, I got Thomas Dolby's The Golden Age of Wireless. And I got this from a thrift store down the street from my house. This is really nice. And you might know him for his hit, Blinded by Science. Shades of Deep Purple. I got this one from eBay. It's a psychedelic album from the 60s. Now, someone in the vinyl community recommended that I actually go and get this album and add it to my collection. And I'm glad I actually went and listened to them and bought this album because I listened to it on YouTube and it's a fantastic album. Next, I got Julian Lennon's Valote. Now, I figured if you're a Lennon... You must have some talented genes passed on from your um, dad, John Lennon. So I picked this up on a whim. And I heard from my boyfriend's cousin that this guy is really talented, in his opinion. And that this is his most popular album. But he said that he never really got any success after that album. Next, I bought a bunch of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard albums. Yes, I really wanted to add a bunch of their stuff to my collection. And I got King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with the Mile High Club. And this is Sketches of Brunswick, Bruns, Brunswick East. Look at this, guys. If they had an award for best album sleeve covers, they would win. Hands down. King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard Paper Mache Dream Balloon. And this is supposed to be an orange color variant, but it looks more red. And kudos to me and Stu. Can you see him? Stu, right here. Stu. We're both rocking the wavy hair, except I was born with wavy hair. Next, I got King Gizzard and the Wizard. King Gizzard and the Wizard. Lizard Wizard. And this one is called Quarters. I had a like brief brain fart for a moment and I did the album upside down.
but their band is really a mouthful. Sometimes I find myself saying their band name wrong. And next I got No Gone Infinity. And this is on a black green flyer vinyl. I got this one off of Amazon for 15 bucks. Look at this. This is by far my most beautiful color variant of all the records that I own. So beautiful. Now guys, I went and pre-ordered their newest album. Now, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard had this thing on their website saying, you can do whatever you want with our newest album. You can make it to a vinyl variant. You could um, burn it onto a CD, make it into cassette, and etc. So, um, Matt from Too Many Records and Brandon from Vinyl Moon decided they were going to do a vinyl variant of this record for Kickstarter. Now, I am happy to say that they have reached their goal, but I will include a link to it in the description box if you would actually like to look at it. Now, all the money and proceeds from this record went to charity, which I think is very awesome of them to give the money to charity. I love to sometimes help charitable causes when I can because I believe we are put here to actually do something good with our life. Why not help those less fortunate than us or help causes that are doing good for the world? So, yeah, that is all the records that I got. I got quite a lot of records. It was my birthday, and I wanted to really treat myself. Actually, my birthday's tomorrow, but when you see this video, it'll probably be posted tomorrow. So, technically, yes, it is my birthday. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a groovy day and a happy Wonderful Thanksgiving with your family, and um, stay groovy, guys. Bye.